blink and you'll miss it. They're the tiny cars that can travel up to 60 miles per hour and 20 metres in under one second. These pupils at Falcon Junior in Norwich have made them as part of the F1 Jaguar Primary School Challenge. It started around 10 years ago and is done by schools all over the country. It's part of a bigger scheme which has seen at least six students go through to work within the F1 programme. The primary challenge is specifically aimed at the younger generation to encourage them to consider a career in engineering as they get older. Um, because obviously the industry that I come from, which is the motor industry, is desperate for good engineers. So getting them at a younger age gives us a bonus of uh, introducing the, the disciplines that they would go through. The competition was held at Sproulston High School today and involved three teams, two of which would go through to a national final. As part of the project, the children have created their own F1 team, made the car model, wrote letters to companies for sponsorship and presented their work. I'm always looking for kind of new opportunities and new club opportunities, you know, for, for kids. I've done the traditional football over the years and, and wanted something new and it was something which involved literacy. Um, it was something involved art, creativity, uh, math, science, design technology, the list goes on. So that was quite appealing to me and I thought the kids would, you know, would get something out of it. They were judged on four categories, their portfolio and pit display, verbal presentation, best engineered car and of course the fastest car. The winner's hazardous prodigy clocked the quickest time of 1.102 seconds, closely followed by runners-up Ultra XL with 1.241. I've learned about aerodynamics and how cars are made. I've learned how to work in a team better and how to become a team player and cooperate more. It's the best thing I've ever done. The winning teams now face 38 others from schools across the UK when they meet for the national final in Warwickshire in June hoping to drive their future forward in the right direction. Christina Brinkley, Mustard TV, Norwich.